I might do it again. Why? I don't. I, I reckon it's too big. I reckon it's because the skewer's too fat. I'm going to go two small skewers. Ding, ding. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're not filming this again because I fucked up the first one. And welcome back to Sunday Sessions. Um, so today, for the first time ever, we're making... Da -da 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 -da, rolled and stuffed lamb T-bone, yeah? Never done this before. It didn't go wrong whenever I did it. Um, so yeah, so this normally, there's a bone in the middle here. This would be your sirloin and this would be your fillet, right? So I've asked my butcher to take the bone out so we can now have the ability to stuff, right? So we're gonna run some chilies in here, but in order to give us more surface area to work with, I'm just gonna take out this little bit of meat because I want to be able to get a proper roll on this lamb, right? We need as much space as possible. And this, I'll just like stick it on a skewer and turn into fucking shish at some point. Just like so. I'm going to try my best to get this piece to like fray out almost so that we've got the camel special. I once watched my dad put a nail into a wall with his fist. Um, he's got hands like a fucking whatever's got hard hands. Uh, anyway, so look, we've opened this little flap up, which means that we can stuff in here, put our fillet back on top, and then roll like so all the way around and make nice medallions, skewers. Piss off, man. Piss off. Piss off, Dens. There's nothing under there. Thank you. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little marinade that I like to use on lamb. We have a tablespoon of tozbiber, which is the Turkish, Turkish equivalent of paprika. Um, a tablespoon of pulbiber, a tablespoon of MSG because it catches smoke and it enhances flavour. It's delicious. It's not fucking bad for you, nor is it cheating. A tablespoon of cumin and then a half a tablespoon of sugar. We're just going to mix this together and we're gonna use this to spice and flavor our lamb. Now, this is going on the inside. Um, I don't want any on the fat outside. I, I want the fat to purely be able to render and create smoke, right? So, we thoroughly mix this. I beg you, I beg you, leave me alone. Please, please, Alana Seversan, leave me alone. Spice onto our lamb. Now, I'm not gonna go any olive oil or oil in this. I'm literally, just gonna pack this in. Do the same on this side. And as the fat renders and hits the charcoal, it's gonna give us like flavored smoke, right? Now, there's no salt or pepper in my rub. Salt in. Like so. A little sprinkling of pepper, not loads. We've already got enough spice, but this is just another dimension. I'm gonna pick this piece of lamb up. I'm gonna knock off my board. Because I don't want any of the rub on the outside. I want the outside just to be able to fat, render, drip, smoke, delicious, right? Now, we've basically made ourselves a little pocket. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the tops, I've got a long Turkish chili, and then a couple everyday red boys. Now, I'm not taking the seeds out. If you get the seeds, well done, congratulations, you win. Stick the fillet back over the top of them and then I'm gonna roll my lamb like so, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a little portion up. And this is what your lamb's gonna look like on the skewer. Yeah? So now, I'm gonna try and get this as tightly packed in as possible. And we're gonna portion. And I'm, I'm saying about a finger's width, right? Like that. And then if it does come apart, you've got the ability to give it a nice little bit of tension. 
make sure that you've got one bit tucked, bring it back round and skewer. I'm gonna go long ways. Across like that. And then we can turn, turn, turn. Now, I'm gonna double skewer these, yeah? So I've got one skewer one side, and then I'm gonna go skewer through here as well, just to make sure that I'm piercing the chili and the other bit of lamb, right? So that I can go, huh? Huh, like that, right? Bring that down, and then I'm gonna portion out the next bit of lamb. And we're just gonna keep going. Like so, all the way down. I know it's opening up on me, but where we're skewering it, we then have the ability to be in control. One in. Okay, I'll fucking skew my fingers onto it. Two, let me just check. I can get four on, right? I'm not gonna go any more. Now, I just want a little press. Make sure they're all even and flat. They're not gonna go anywhere. They're all on. And I'm just gonna season face side with salt. These little bits of marinade that are on the top don't matter. We're gonna feed the dry rub to it. So we wanna to get to a point where we can cook and render and then start to add more dry rub to our lamb, right? Now, gonna have a check on our charcoal. I'm at a free camp. Knock the ash off and stick our lamb down. Instant sizzlization. You hear it? Slish, slish, slish. So yeah, so we're just gonna treat this as if it was a shish, but we want it to go low and slow, right? We don't wanna go too hard and fast. We want to render, still have the ability to keep the lamb pink. And then we're gonna make some flatbreads. We're not gonna make some flatbreads. We're gonna season some flatbreads, make a little salad. Bob's your uncle, Fanny is your auntie, you get me? Every so often, I'm just gonna give it a little sprinkle of this shit, yeah? Not loads, a little at a time. Because now what we wanna do is we wanna keep making flavor, but also I wanna start seasoning some bread. So here I've got some flatbreads that Hussie's mum made for me. <laughs> Big up Hussie's mum, that one broke. Doesn't need to be no special bread on that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're just gonna pat this down on our bread. This is what they do in the kebab shops when you're like, oh, how'd you eat the bread so nice? This is it, bro. Collecting all the meat juices, but also doing this, I can feel how far my lamb is from cooking. This is still quite wet. This is still quite rare. Get that back on. Get some heat into this bread. 
they collect all of the smoky goodness. The warm up. And I'd say this lamb needs about 15 minutes. We're, gonna, we're, we're turning quite regularly. We're not leaving it. We're looking after it. Um, but the idea is not to cook it all on one side, it's to keep, keep turning, keep looking at it, keep adding spice and building flavor. And I reckon this is our last bit of cooking now. Our fat started to render, we're getting loads of nice smoke. Meat started to tense up. Now I wanna hold it like so, just so that any bits of fat that have been temperamental near the bottom have the chance to, to render out. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my lamb like hot rest up here, not over, directly over charcoal. I can see it. I know what it's doing. Stick this bread to one side, and we'll flash it again before we eat it. Let's just move on to a little accoutrement, um, a little accompaniment to our lamb. I'm basically just gonna do an onion and herb salad. Um, it's what I like to eat lamb with. It's what it's traditionally served with. So I've got a beautiful white onion. I'm gonna slice that really thin. You've probably seen this before, but it's literally what I like to eat barbecues with. The arse end of a tomato that I found. Just a couple bits of tomato. And I've got some coriander. bits of mint. I'm gonna add in a nice crack of salt. A bit of the secret powder that we we're using on the lamb. The juice of a lime. An ever so slight smidge. Smidge of olive oil, right? Press this on the board. All my flatbread through. That's it, so look, I know this isn't gonna be medium rare because in order to create smoke clouds and render fat, we need to cook low and slow. What I can promise you that is this meat's terribly soft. Still a bit pink. Smoky, spicy, loads of smoke flavor. And I feel like you need to just be confident with like, fucking herbs, onions, and tomatoes. It's what kebabs are served with. I've got the top end of a chili here. Hopefully, someone's decided to start banging. I don't know if someone's locked out. I'm just gonna wrap this. Like, kebab culture in Turkey, no one eats with cutlery. It's all a hand job. 
I can't tell you how good this is, man. Honestly. Secret meat bread. It's fucking delicious. And then all you're going to do is, like, take a bit. I like all of this fat. It's all crispy and great. A couple bits of chilli. Garnish in. Like that. So I've got, like, fucking brightness from herbs. Smoky, deep lamb. I've got secret chilies in there that are fire. Wrap it. Different. Different kind of barbecue. The lamb's beautiful. The fat's rendered and crispy. The sirloin's great. The little bit of fillet that you get's fucking soft. <laughs> and I just like the fact that you've got this like cool, refreshing salad. Salads don't have to be grated carrot, pickled red cabbage, <laughs> shit lettuce. Just dress some fucking herbs, get a nice tomato, onion for like heat and contrast. It's great. Unfortunately, I only cooked four, which means I've eaten my limit. The rest is for George. This one's secretly eating a whole one off camera. And once more. Um, but that's it. Honestly, yes, getting a T-bone or a best end and taking the bone out and rolling it is expensive. But on a special occasion or like a little intimate two two-person barbecue or someone you want to treat, this is fucking great. Put that rub on chicken breasts, put it on fucking lamb, skewers, put it on pork, it works on everything. And just understand how fat works whilst cooking over fire. I've put no olive oil, no oil on top of this. All I've relied on is the, flat, is the fat creating smoke and giving us flavor. And that's like barbecue 101 for me. The dog is bugging out. Denzel! Stop it, bruv. But yeah, we're gonna go eat off camera. If you make this and you get one of the little chilies, congratulations, you win. For me, delicious. Isn't it, Denz? Listen. <laughs> That's me and Denzel signing out from our barbecue. This is where the dog is sleeping. My dad uh, buy a new rack for dog. He even salvaged all these tiles and put them in himself. Um, this is my girlfriend's table that my dad's taken. It's my girlfriend's plant. I bought this for her and that's in Camille's, we call this Cyprus basically. This is actually a picture of my auntie. Um, this is Cyprus in the background obviously. This is what Cyprus looks like if you've never seen it. That's my auntie. This is Denzel's brother and his other friends, the sheeps. Oi! Oh my God. Oi! Oi! Denzel! Chop houses. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.